Greetings from Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. My name is Colonel Pat Kinsman, and I'm honored to be serving as the 59th Commander of the District. Now, it's already February of 2021, but I wanted to take a moment to look back on some of our challenges and successes in a very unique year that was 2020. And I also want to look ahead to 2021 and what I see as some opportunities and challenges. Specifically, what I'd like to do is talk to our industry partners, to our mission partners and stakeholders, and finally I'll talk to our Norfolk teammates as well. First, I'd like to tell you that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is a great organization and a great place to work. People are the driving force in delivering our important mission. Broadly speaking, the Corps has presence across the United States and around the world where we deliver engineering solutions to some of our nation's toughest challenges in the U.S and abroad supporting allies and partners. Here in the Norfolk District, it's my honor to lead a team of dedicated professionals in executing our diverse mission of supporting our nation, the Commonwealth of Virginia, and sometimes even other states as well. Our district mission includes military construction at most Army and Air Force installations throughout Virginia. It includes our civil works program and projects that support navigation, flood risk management, and environmental restoration. Design and construction work for other agencies is done on a case-by-case -case basis. We respond and support FEMA during national emergencies, and our district is the real estate agent to the Army and other military services as well. We have a regulatory mission, which primarily means permitting responsibilities under Section 404 of the Clean Water Act and Section 10 of the Rivers and Harbors Act. For me personally, with this very diverse mission set, there is never a dull day as commander. We're delivering our mission and prepared now more than ever for the challenges of the 21st century. But it's not just our missions that are diverse. We have over 380 assigned personnel, my teammates, 99% of which are Department of the Army civilians from all walks of life. With a broad range of professional skills from engineers, project managers, to lawyers and accountants, to the men and women who operate our watercraft and our locks and dams. There is plenty of opportunity here. The Corps of Engineers is a great place to work. District employees rate their supervisors as strongly supporting development and leadership skills while maintaining a work-life balance. Here in the Norfolk District, in our internal employee rated assessments, my teammates raised our employee engagement scores from 78% several years ago to 88% today. Our organizational performance ratings have gone from 64% to 81% today, and our senior leadership rating has gone from 60% to 80% today. While those are good scores, we don't rest on our laurels here. We continue to receive great feedback from our employees and strive to remain a great place to work. And yes, we're hiring. You can find our career opportunities by following us on LinkedIn and on USA Jobs. And those links can be found attached to this video. I wanna take a moment to talk about some of our key accomplishments in 2020. Team Norfolk responded to the challenges of a global pandemic while ensuring vital core missions were performed professionally and without interruption. Our emergency response mission certainly took center stage this year. In the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, and just two days after Governor Northam issued a stay-at-home order, district teams fanned out across Virginia to assess the potential for alternate care facilities that could be used if hospitals reached their max capacity. We work closely with the Virginia Department of Health, the Virginia Department of Emergency Management, and private health care companies to assess numerous locations. In under two weeks, district teams evaluated 86 sites and within hours, we were poised to award contracts to deliver three alternate care facilities within a matter of weeks if we got the go ahead. We're honored to work at Arlington National Cemetery, our nation's most hallowed ground. Our team works closely with cemetery leadership to ensure facilities maintain the highest quality expected by a grateful nation. We completed a 15 month full renovation of ANC's administration building which included a new fire suppression system, updated information technology systems, and improved interior spaces for the ANC staff, and more importantly, for the families that they serve. Also at Arlington, we're coordinating closely with cemetery leadership and others on the large Southern Expansion Project that when complete, 
is expected to add 37 acres of burial space and extend the cemetery's active life. We're also working to restore and provide accessibility improvements to the Memorial Amphitheater in preparation for November's centennial anniversary of the Tomb of the Unknowns. Our military construction team continue to deliver world-class facilities for Army and Air Force installations throughout Virginia. In fact, our military construction program topped $335 million in 2020 and included work for both the Army and Air Force sides of Joint Base Langley Eustis, the opening of the U.S. Army Ordnance Training Support Facility at Fort Lee, and the continued transformation of the Defense Supply Center, Richmond. At Defense Supply Center, Richmond, we completed a broad range of maintenance, repair, and minor construction efforts. We also awarded a contract for Phase 2 of DLA's Operations Center, an $87.5 million, 280,000 square foot facility. This work will provide a world-class working environment for approximately 1,600 employees. On the Civil Works front, our team and Port Partners continued a project that began during the district's humble beginnings, dredging the Norfolk Harbor Inner Channel and the Channel to Newport News. The $10.4 million contract moved 1.1 million cubic yards of sediment from the Federal Channel and dredged to a depth of 52 feet. The target was 25 feet back in 1879. Our Civil Works efforts included work with the City of Virginia Beach and other partners on the Lynn Haven River Ecosystem Restoration Project, completion of the Sandbridge Beach Nourishment Project, and completion of the jetty at Tangier Island, which protects federal navigation and commercial facilities for that harbor. Our regulatory mission continued seeking to strike a balance between the environment and the continued need for development and economic growth. Our regulators completed nearly 5,000 total actions and they published the draft environmental impact statement for Dominion Energy's proposed Surrey Skiffs Creek Wheelton aerial transmission line. As you can see, 2020 was an incredibly busy year for Team Norfolk and we're heading into 2021 with the same level of commitment, determination, and resilience to deliver the mission. In 2021, we are forecasting more than $500 million in work in this year. I will do everything in my power as commander to ensure we meet our commitments as a district. Finally, some shout outs to our mission partners, state and local government leaders, military installation leadership, and others. We seek nothing more than to develop and deliver a project that meets the specific needs of your organization in the rapidly changing 21st century. Collaboration and communication are always essential during this time. We will continue to partner closely with you through all project phases to ensure that we develop and scope, design, construct, and then deliver a world-class project. On time, on budget, and the highest quality is the standard. Thank you in advance for your teamwork. Please reach out to me personally if there's anything we can do to further strengthen that partnership. To our industry partners, including the architect and engineering firms that support our mission, we are partners in delivering world-class infrastructure. Team Norfolk will host at least two industry days this year to discuss the opportunities, challenges, and areas of mutual collaboration that we're facing together. Your expertise and responsiveness are needed now more than ever. Thank you for all you do. To my Norfolk teammates, I've had the honor to lead Army teams my entire adult life, and it's no exaggeration to say that I've felt no higher honor than leading Team Norfolk. I'm looking forward to what you'll accomplish this year and very excited for the year ahead. Finally, to all of you watching, on behalf of Team Norfolk, I'd like to wish you all a safe, happy, and prosperous 2021. Essay arms and beat Navy.